<clears throat> hey y'all, what's up my beautiful peeps? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Get Sense Night 2. I'm giving you guys the latest and exclusive content on the music, entertainment news, and inspirational posts by me to play us back. Alright, so my girl JoJo released her album. It's called Trying Not to Think About It. There are 12 tracks. I will talk to you guys about my favorite standout tracks and my overall thoughts and themes of her new album. Let's get it poppin' as always, period. Number one, World of Sunshine intro. Number two, Anxiety, Belinda's theme parentheses. Number three, Dissolve. Number four, Good Enough interlude. Number five, B.I.D. Number six, Feel Alright. Number seven, Fresh New Sheets. Number eight, Sugar and Carbs interlude. Number nine, Spiral Season. Number 10, Nikki Sound. Bath interlude. Number 11, Words I Assume, parentheses. And number 12, Lift. Well, JoJo Slade, hands down. I love this album, and I should say this. Um, this is pretty much a really, really beautiful body of work from JoJo. What I love about the pro the production is that it has that R&B soul nostalgia, and it has like that folklore kind of music. And I feel like JoJo, she has always you know, set the bar high for herself as a musician. I feel like with her music, she has always sonically pushed the envelope for herself. And what I love about this album is so melodic. Um, and you can hear the instrumentation of each record, which I feel like all of them are so like, they, they have something called, I would say, just that versatility. And with JoJo, she's a good example of that. Because I grew up with JoJo since I was a little girl. And to really witness her blossom into her own musician. And really for her, I feel like this album, um, it definitely brings a lot of like beautiful moments. Um, she touches on so many topics from love, heartbreak, pain, uh, mental health, um, and you know, empowerment and just being able to push through with resilience. And I love that with her. This is one thing I know is about her, because when she puts out a new album, she's gonna always, she's gonna always make, it's, it's gonna be worth the wait. You know, because she's pretty much one of these artists that when she puts out her music, it's, it's always something new. It, 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 you know, and she sets trends. Because I feel like JoJo, for her being in the music industry for a while, and to see her growth, and see her really take the reins in music with her sound, she definitely has so much of that confidence, and it has a lot of like that sentimental, you know, aura about her. And I think that this album really does redefines the sound of and soul music. Because really listening to this album, it was like, wow, I was in chill mode, I was in relaxing mode. And her singing is more versatile, but at the same time, I feel like even with her, I kind of feel like she definitely made sure that she kind of, she took things up on her. So this new album, I kind of feel like she really like, the one where I really would describe her is like badass. So with that being said, I feel like um, trying not to think about it is a beautiful white word. She really, really pushed through and I love it. So please check JoJo's album out. I'm a little bit hard cover. It has like that, you know, um, it's like how she's curled up in the ball like in the fetus, but the black drapery surround, surrounding herself and I kind of feel like this is her like she's really spreading a lot of that self-awareness so I'm going to give this album a 5 out of 5 so that being said guys 
show your fans. Um, share your thoughts and your opinions. Stay tuned on the next episode of Get Since Night 2. Like, share, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button as always. Stay tuned on the next episode of Get Since Night 2. Dragon Balls and Air Reference. Peace with the high heels as you know. The Super Saiyan.